hello seekers welcome back welcome back to your channel this reading is going to be for aries this is going to be in a single read okay now if you guys are new here i welcome you and if you are turning back to my channel i welcome you guys back you know you're a diamond please continue to shine bright like a diamond okay all right we're going to get into a prayer you guys because on this channel we do pray um tap into your energy and pull in these singles read Oh, wait a minute, you guys. I think I'm going to pull this candle up here. So that way I could bless the area just a little bit. This is going to be the first read for the day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, for this singles read, just know that it's a general reading and not a personal reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you at this moment. And please leave the absolute rest. Okay, just leave the rest. Send it back to the universe because that's where it came from, you guys. Okay. Cross watchers, please do the same. Place your situation where you need to place it, past, present, or future. Um, and so on and so forth. Now, if you guys are interested in having a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I have provided for you guys down in the description part of this video to schedule an appointment for a personal reading. Okay? All right, angels. Bless my space. Bless all who's watching. Bless my mind, mental, soul, body, and form. I said you release anything that is negative that will hurt or harm me and my seekers. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed morning, even knowing that. Let's get an angel here, okay? Let's get an angel here. All right, what's the angel here to assist me with this reading for Aries? Aries Singles. What is the angel that is coming through to assist me with this reading for Aries? We have the angels of wisdom. The angel of wisdom will be the 26th angel in line. So thank you for coming through to assist me with this reading for Aries. I appreciate you. All right, let's see what your challenge is, my singles. Let's see what your challenge is for this read today. All right. All right, Angel, what is the challenge here, please? What is the challenge at this time for my Aries? Okay, Aries. All right, so my darling, your challenge right now is patience, okay? This is your challenge. Now, let's just clear this. With your challenge, and because patience is coming in, and patience for me is a very intense form of reaction, I do feel like some of you guys here, you're either dealing with a situation here that has really been testing you back, right, left, and center, you guys. Now, you've either put in a lot of energy already into the situation. I do see or feel an emotion here of someone really being exhausted and overwhelmed here. For some of you, are just ready to walk away from this because you feel like the patience that you've already invested, you're not getting the answers in return. However, what you didn't see coming on the back of the deck is overcoming obstacles, okay? Now, the, this, this situation, not only has do I feel it has really tested your patience far and beyond, but I do feel like this, the situation is deal, or dealt you a card that's meant for obstacles. The obstacles is having me feel like you have been hit below the belt here for some of you guys, some of you singles. I do feel like you are or you will be overcoming these obstacles because they are meant to overcome and they must and they will for some of you guys, okay? Let's see what angels are saying here. All right, angels, tap it into the energy of our singles, please. What's the message? It's time. For my singles. What is coming towards every singles? What does every singles need to know at this time, angels? What is it that I need to share? Angels of wisdom, okay? So angels of wisdom is here, you guys. 
Angels of Wisdom basically wants you to use your third eye. Be smart about whatever it is that you're dealing with at this time, okay? Okay, my phones are going crazy. Hold on, you guys. I do apologize, but if I don't put an end to the phone a notifications, it is going to be going off all through your read. All through your read. So let me put that on vibrate. At least it can vibrate, right? Let's do the business as well. Hold on, you guys. Just a second. Because I don't want to hear y'all saying, oh, you know, the distraction from the phone. All right, let's see. Ace of Wisdom, let's get to work here, please. Let's get to work. I'm kind of drawn to this deck. I don't know why, but I'm going to put it there. We'll see. All right. What's the message at this time? Okay. So we have the five of uh, ones here. I do feel like for some of you guys, you're either trying to overcome these obstacles for sure, okay? Um, that's for sure with this five of ones here. I do feel like you've been, your faith now has only been tested, you guys. But what I'm seeing here is these obstacles. It just seems like for some of you, the more that you try to put an end to this cycle is that the more the cycle is not giving up. I do feel like for some of you, you're ready to give in, but... Give it in shouldn't be an option. Op, shouldn't be an option, but what should be is you walking away from this situation because it doesn't serve you any good. I just feel it like it's causing you to either be stressed out is even an understatement. Okay, I do feel like these obstacles and whatever the situation it is could be family and friends, it could be relationship, but I feel like you have more than just one issue that you're dealing with at this point. Okay. Uh, what is the five of wands the five of one is the king of cups in the reverse so someone is either being very stubborn very hard to deal with here not really trying to communicate not really even trying to meet you halfway here i do feel like this is what it, you know you're feeling right now um like giving up or just not wanting to deal with anything that is connected to this king of cups anymore because that's in the reverse um, energy is low. It's low. Um, and I'm seeing that you're arising from this. <laughs> you're definitely are arising from this, okay? Um, you're moving into another cycle of your life. You just, you, you're at this point, you realize now that this didn't ser doesn't serve one bit of your energy. Um, I see you kind of looking out into prosperity. I see you looking out into manifesting your life. I see you looking out into maybe getting yourself together as far as you're being guided by the angels been guided by the universe i'm seeing like for some of you you're either thinking about moving into another home maybe you're buying or renting a home or something but you're moving here someone is moving someone is ready to walk away someone is writing their future on paper here what do i do next asking the universe asking your spirit guide to guide you into the foundation reaching for the stars to gain your money this is financial health I'm seeing the money tree that is coming in for some of you guys. But you're ending the cycle. All right. So we have the Ten of Swords here. So something is about to be over or something has already been over here. But why do, am I feeling like even though something is over, something is still finding a way to be attached to you. Um, it's really took its toll. Okay. Oh, not only did it bring a lot of conflicts and stuff that you feel like didn't serve you at all. You know for sure that it didn't serve it because why? Because this obstacles and the obstacles that you're trying to avoid is you walking into a situation you're arising from whatever it is that's holding you back and you're putting an end to this cycle, okay, with the Ten of Swords and why that's in the reverse. Also, what came in the reverse is the Eight, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands in the reverse, okay? Um, these conflicts is really taking its toll, is what I'm seeing, you guys. Um... You're not able to focus here. Um, for some of you, you're still trying to decide what it is that you need to do. Um, the chapter is about to conceal itself. Movement is needed here. This is what I'm seeing. A release is coming in. What is this, please? 
we have the ten of pentacles yeah the release has to happen you guys the ten of pentacles in the reverse and nine of cups in the reverse this is all what you're expecting and this is why you need to walk away from everything that is causing conflicts in your life at this point because there's nothing there's no manifestation coming in these people are difficult to deal with don't want to see it succeed not trying to help you to gain strength from what it is that you need to move into a new dimension of your life i already see that you're rising i already see that your your intentions are clean what is it that you need in your life it's all here it's all here you guys however my singles just this just this lay it out on the table okay Whoever you're attached to, they don't mean you any good as far as manifesting your life, as far as achieving these goals here. And that's just on period, point blank. You have people in the energy that is draining you from manifesting your life, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? They're not about to give anything here to make things better. Like that song Michael Jackson sings, make this world a better place. They're not ready to make your world a better place. I'm seeing sinking sand here. They're sinking your manifestation. They're sinking your growth. They're sinking your heart. They're sinking your love. And bringing on nothing but conflicts here, the five of wands. Nothing but conflicts and fiction that keeps going on and on and on with no end, okay? They're, they're hopeless. Hopeless situation. The Knight of Pentacles. What's the Knight of Pentacles? All right, so you're fighting for victory here, but however, someone wants to come in, and I've seen an apology that may be coming towards you. However, I do feel like for some of you, you may think this apology is too much, too little, too late here. Um, but I do see maybe you're willing to listen to what these people or that particular person wants to say or whatever it is that's coming through as sincerity. But for some of you, you know within your heart that whatever the apology is coming in as, now you're feeling like, okay, do I even take the, take the time out to listen to these apologies anymore? Because I don't want to fight anymore. I don't have the energy in me to fight anymore. The eight of swords in the reverse, you don't. The page of pentacles, you're manifesting away this pain and you're healing. So this is a risk that you'll take if you... Even for a moment, think that this apology is sincere. I don't see where this apology is sincere at all because I don't see these, this situation is ready to end the reason why. What I do see you doing is walking away, making a choice and walking away here. And when I say walking away, I mean all the way away, okay? Just know that for some of you, you may have a fear, my singles, of leaving a situation permanently. I see something good coming, okay, from this shift. What is this here? Okay, yeah. Something good is about to come. Something is ending. Something good is about to come. But we have the lovers here. So someone is attached to a, a, a relationship. It could have been a past, a present, or one that's coming, you guys. That has to do with a lot of toxicity here, okay? Um, it, it's attached to a third-party situation. Um, either you feel like they might have cheated or they felt that you might have. Okay, nothing is, is binding here at all. I still see someone struggling to find a way here. Um, trying to figure out where do I go from here. This could be them, this could be you. The six of wands, the seven of wands. Boom, boom. Okay. Something is about to shift in your life. The shift is coming in as you receiving something that you is going to make your life change forever. And these people see this. And this is why this struggle is still coming in towards you here. That's all the distraction because someone is still not sure. It's like, do I, do I, don't I? Moving in. I'm moving in. The world in the reverse. Mm, something is ending the debt. Someone doesn't want to take this apology. Now, this person is definitely fixed. Someone is fixed to come towards you, okay? Um, and like I said before, I'm feeling like nothing has really changed, okay? Apology is coming in, but the apology will not be a sincere one. Someone wants to talk, but it won't be sincere. Um, what I do see coming through here is ego that's coming in. Because you're in the, in the middle of a healing process here, because you're either thinking about letting something go, um, moving on into something different, a new chapter here arising from this, you're building your, um, your happiness here, even though it may be moving slowly, but it is moving here. 
Nothing is coming in from what has been holding you back here, but conflicts, my darlings. And I do see you go moving forward into something new, a different chapter here. But you still have to be careful because this person is assisted to come back to your life. That person is not ready to give up. Now, remember we have the Angels of Wisdom. The Angels of Wisdom is saying the new start is what you need here. Okay. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice. So, so someone is going to deal, have to deal with something that you won't be able to control even if you wanted to. Okay. Because someone is going to have to be paid learn the hard way here yeah someone's going to have to learn the hard way because they wasn't that smart someone made a decision with you my singles and now they're finding a way that's very difficult for them and i feel like this person knows that what they did was wrong so now they want to come in and say i'm sorry okay which is okay but the thing is, this is not sincere. Because they see that you're moving into a different chapter of your life here. You're, you're moving into a different chapter. Look at that. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. And then we have the Tower. Now the Tower is here to remind you that you have already suffered a Tower moment here. Or this could be them that is suffering that Tower moment as we speak. Because justice already came through here. Um, but that... that won't affect whatever they're dealing with won't affect you because you're moving into something uh bright all right and this bright is is really telling me that you're putting in the work you're manifesting something new here you're not alone because your ancestors was busy watching over you while somebody still is busy watching you spying and watching to see what you got going on but the apology is blocked i don't feel like you want this apology because you're either feeling that this person might have embarrassed you or this is how they're feeling, okay? Someone feels very embarrassed here, but someone at the end of the day didn't wasn't smart, you guys. They wasn't smart with your heart here. Um, I do see new love is trying to find you here. New love is definitely trying to find you. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Something new. I'm hearing victory. What is this? Okay, so someone is walking away for sure. Or someone is letting someone something for sure. Letting something go for sure. Right? Um, I do feel like for some of you, you're either feeling like it's going to be a risk here. Let me see something. Because I was drawn to this deck. Angels of Wisdom, why am I drawn to this deck? Every singles, please. What is it that I need to share with my singles? Let me have two cards from this deck here. Why am I drawn to this deck? What is it that I need to share with my singles at this time? Angels of Wisdom. Okay. You are more relevant than you think. There you go. Just like Angel said before, remember the importance of play. You are more relevant than you think, okay? Remember the importance of play. I do feel like for some of you guys here, um, because you're on like this journey, this chapter, this movement here um, of happiness, you're releasing a lot of things here. And I do for sure see that you, you know, this apology is coming in like I mentioned before. This apology is coming in. It is coming in. Someone who wants to come to you and say something. But again, they're feeling rather ashamed to come in and say it, okay? Because we're having twice the fun here. Um, this person is feeling very embarrassed here to tell you that I'm sorry. Even though they know that they need to say I'm sorry. I do feel like for some of you, you know, it's, it's a form of you healing is how you're feeling. Maybe if you had definitely got the apology that you need from this person, you'll find yourself kind of moving on. Even if you don't go back into a relationship with this person or a situation with whatever it is that you feel like you're remembering a lot of things of the past here. But just know that, you know, Angel wants you to know the importance of play. So you have to definitely not hold on to this is what I'm hearing and release it. Um, I see something new. The world is, is changing here for you. I see you getting ready to embrace something that is going to bring you great joy, great love here. I do feel like, you know, this will be something very unexpected. 
Um, I really feel like for some of you, it's all about change here. I see you may be changing. Um, this could be a job change or your relocation because I already picked up that for some of you guys, you might be relocating because you're ending a cycle, okay, with this ten of swords in the reverse. You're ending a cycle here, getting ready to rebuild your money. For some of you, money could be an issue right now, what you're dealing with with your finances. It could be money. But because I'm getting white, and white really means that you're purific purifying your entire body, mental state of frame of mind, this is where something will definitely change for you guys, okay? Um, and I, and, I, and again, I really feel like it's, it feels more like something that is really unexpected, you guys. But because I do see you holding on to hope here, I feel like all hope is not lost is what you need to hear. All hope is not lost, okay? Let me tap into this one here. All right, angels, let me have some more message here for my singles. Aries, singles, please. Aries, singles, what's the message? For my singles at this time. Tap it into the energy of my singles. Okay. I do feel like you've definitely been holding on to a lot, okay? We have the, the eight of wands in the reverse, the ten of wands. And then we have the sun here. So I do feel like this person might have made you feel very happy at one point, but they did make you feel very overwhelmed here. Overwhelmed and tired is how you felt. I feel like, you know, this person is extremely hard to deal with, okay? Because they hold on to so much of the emotion. I do feel like this person has been a very spiritual person at times, is what I'm hearing. Um, but they yet to have make a decision. Even though this person is a person that you might have been wanting to marry or this could, you might have married this person or you might have married intentions with this person. But it seems like never it never happened because we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. What I do feel though is that this person definitely wants to come back towards you for sure. A hundred percent. From that deck I already felt it. This one is coming to again. The Knight of Swords. But I am also feeling like they're not happy with themselves. Something is not right here. Something is not happy. Someone is blocked here, but someone is still yet to wait things out. I do feel like, um, I don't know why I'm hearing like someone might have tried something here. Why do I feel like someone might have tried something? Someone tried some kind of a spell work here. That's just, just came to me. Someone just maybe tried to have a situation, yeah, somebody did, the hermit. Someone was searching for something. Searching for answers here, maybe gave, someone gave somebody some instruction to do something here to have this person or to have the situation flow the way that you want it, but let it go, release that, okay? Let it go, release it, because what is yours is yours with the empress here. The empress is one that has confidence, okay? Very moderate, very nurturing, loves their life, love uh, to have stability and balance in your life. So whatever it is for you, it is going to be for you. This could be a Libra energy um, with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The, the peace. You're overcoming evil, <laughs> okay? You're, you're not settling for anything that is evil, anything that is destructive here. You're not letting fear stop you. You're not let, letting because one love situation might have fallen apart. You're ready to take a chance and love again. But however, you have to not return to the past. Because the past is the energy is on a low vibration with the King of Pentacles and why that's in the reverse. And also, not only did this show in the reverse, but we have the Nine of Cups also in the reverse. So that energy right now, um, they they might have already lost you. Okay. I'm hearing new. What is what you need? Because someone is still searching here. Still searching here. Um, and still still feeling very ashamed and embarrassed here. Oh. What he needs is a new love with the Ace of Wands here. But you're going to have to trust your intuition to start something new, brand new here. You have to trust your intuition, you guys, because you'll still be searching for something and still feeling kind of lost or out of place here. What is this? What is this that I'm feeling for my singles? What is going on, singles? Angels of Wisdom, what is this, please? All right. Okay. All right. So someone is uh, needing to move or maybe you're not giving um, yourself what you really need here or someone is not giving you what you really wanted here. But what you want is what you know that you want and what you know that is truly yours and what you really deserve is a two of wands. You're making 
plans in your life and you're taking a chance to move forward you have no choice but to do that because you have the devil here whatever is connected to whatever that you've been dealing with with this five of wands over here that's not a part of the journey okay someone is dealing with something that is toxic here that is um combined to addiction you're letting that go you're letting that go because you have again no choice the four of pentacles here and why it's here is because someone is stubborn and very um withheld on how they believe things should go even though it doesn't make any sense to them they feel like it shouldn't be it should be the same for you um and this is why your situation is in the reverse the ace of pentacles right here and this is again the ten of swords that's coming through to clarify why this uh why this ace of pentacles is in the reverse because you're healing and something is needed to hand here um what is needed to hand is that you've been betrayed here all right now this did show in the reverse earlier and this is where you you're ending this cycle you're moving forward but you're healing for some of you guys you're still healing why you're still healing because i have the eight of swords here your ear is still feeding you the strapped or stuck or whatever um and because you're either feeling stuck in a situation of lies and conflicts and betrayal you i know that you've been betrayed because you're dealing with a lot of conflicts here this was your very first card that came through okay you're dealing with a lot on the plate and someone is still having the need to hold on to something that doesn't need to be held on to. It's bringing you great misery. What I do see you do is moving forward with this Nine of Pentacles, okay? You're moving into something different. I'm hearing financial success for some of you. Um, I see um, for some of you, you're either moving on, you're fixing conflicts that you have dealt with or what you might have held you back for some of you guys. Um, you're fixing those, but you're definitely, definitely moving, even though you're feeling like whatever you're moving into a new chapter, you feel like, okay, you know, I'm taking a risk here, but I have to do this risk is what I'm hearing because what you're dealing with right now has brought you many, 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 many sadness here. Okay. Um, I feel like someone is either mourning separation. We have the queen of swords here. So someone is very saddened about their person and them not being together. Even though you may be hoping for this person to return, I don't see this person coming back with a sincere re return again because I really feel this person as um, having no confidence even to approach you here with this nine of, the nine of wands in the reverse and the six of cups in the reverse. You're not thinking about, you know, going back or this could be them. All right. I do see this person as being very manipulative here. My page of cups in the reverse and the three of cups also here with the third party in the reverse. Okay. My goodness, my goodness, let's see. Tell me more, please. Okay, so we have the sun here, look at that, okay? I do feel like you've either been betrayed by this person multiple times here. What I do feel is that there may be some kind of a secret that this person might have told. You might have, um, they might have lied to you or something, okay? I feel like you shouldn't share anything right now because your situation is kind of in the reverse with this energy. Okay, don't share anything as as far as moving into a new chapter in your life. They put something to an end here to what I'm seeing. Um, and situation kind of fell apart. Not because you made it happen that way, because they did. That was their choice to do that. Um, but And everything just kind of didn't go right. Your money wasn't going right. You didn't feel like you could even get out of bed sometimes. Some of you might have lost your faith here with the star and why that's in the reverse. And also, I do see the five of swords here, okay? And the lies and the lies just kept coming. This person may be wearing a mask that really tapped into your strength here, okay? But I'm seeing justice that's coming through. I'm seeing the clarity that you need is coming through. I'm here in court. Papers been filed for some of you. About to file some papers on this person. So you can finally get your peace here. But you're not giving this energy anything else with this uh, six of pentacles in the river you're not doing you don't want to do that anymore i'm seeing victory again coming in towards you here with the six of wands okay um fulfillment of your life here i do feel like you might have felt like you might have been connected to a soulmate connection um but the soulmate connection is having me feel like you might have suffered bad news here okay i'm hearing health issues for some of you this could be you this could be your first one this could be what's connected to you here with the queen um of cups here this is you giving yourself, um, all of you, okay, with this in the reverse here. I also feel, though, somebody's about to find something out, hear something here. This is what I'm seeing. What is the Queen of Cups? 
in the reverse. What is the Queen of Cups in the reverse? Okay, yeah. You're going to be finding out that this person is still juggling two things, okay? Somebody's distracted here. That's what you'll be finding out. Tell me more. So this person, not only are they struggling to make things right, but they have, they're torn between love and love. Third party. So there's a third party person that's coming in, okay? The energy has been blocked here because it's still conflicted here. But I feel like you're, you're, you're done with that. You're walking away for sure. You're walking away from that. This person is kind of a young type of an energy here. But I feel like they want to talk no matter what. But they did cause great pain here. I see love that's coming in here. New love. Um, for some of you, this could be somebody that you might have already met. But I do feel like this could be somebody new. This person, someone from your past is not ready to give up on you yet. But this person is a manipulator. All right, the page of cups in the reverse. Singles, please. Okay. So we have the nine of wands here. Ooh. There's a struggle here. They're still fighting with their own self. <laughs> There's still a fight going on here. And and, and, so, and let, believe me, you won't be able to help them with that struggle. That's a struggle. Um, whatever it is that's connected to you, singles, they're going to have to come clean with, 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 their, with their own self. Okay? And stop lying. Because it's not getting them anywhere but nowhere. No man's zone. Okay? That's the only place that's going. Alright? So I'm hearing an emotional storm here. So this could be you. This could be them. This person might have caused some kind of a storm or something that really affected you. This is a masculine energy. A divine masculine here. Um, they really... This took a toll here. Because I'm hearing um, the situation became very unstable or you got affected by this. Or some kind of a trauma that you might have dealt with here, singles. Yeah, but somebody's going to get their karma here. Somebody's going to be dealing with their karma, suffering great, great consequences here, um, and cause of effect and depths here. So somebody's going to have to pay, whether they like it or not. Remember we talked about the apology the entire time? That came through here, okay? So they're coming in for forgiveness. They want to return, just like I said over and over. They want to return, and they want to say, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. You see what I've been Aries singles. Let me tell you something, seekers. I've I've been picking up the same thing into every single deck. Into this one. How many decks did I pull through here? Maybe four. Four. This is the fifth one. And every single one of these decks told me something about what you've been through as far as healing from something, someone who wants to come back. Um, forgiveness. And if it was a part, the apology was sincere or not. Karma. I told you, this person is going to have to face some kind of a justice. Karma. And I told you, there's something that you cannot fix. Only person who fix this is them and not you. You could pray, but this person is filled with too much pride, you guys. Ego. And they're very stubborn. And I told you that earlier that this person was stubborn. Arrogance, very, very stubborn energy set into their ways. It's like it's their way or no way. Yeah, they're about to confess. This is a confession that's coming in. Okay, um, they won't be able to. And why do I feel like they don't want to come to the look towards you and tell you what it is that they really need to tell you to clear the air? They may be either texting you or sending an email or something, but it's coming, it's coming soon, some way, shape, or form. Tell me more. Okay, so you're about to get the piece that you need because I did pick up also earlier that somebody might have done something, spell work, okay? I picked that up earlier, witchcraft. Someone put an X on somebody here. It's, this person had a negative mind and this person is still silenced. They will never tell. They will never tell. Until the cows come home, honey, they will never say what it is that they did. They're frozen. Frozen, no words, and stonewall. They will never tell. They will, let me tell you, this will go to the grave, okay? It will go to the grave. I'm hearing bitterness here. Someone maybe already shown signs that they've been hexed. Because this person may be showing some kind of a resentment here. 
anger or maybe saying things that they really don't mean, hurtful words or whatever that could be. Tell me more. Right, so for some of you, I'm a, it's a feeling of memories here, a longing or something. You know, someone is either craving or hating a situation here or wanting a situation. But the situation is, is, is one that is bittersweet. And I do see a distance here. So if this is not you that's giving this person cold feet, then this is them. Separation, space, and blockages. <laughs> because someone is caught in a web of exclusiveness here. Dishonesty and deception and trickery. Tell me more. For my singles, please. Okay, so I'm getting the chemistry that is coming in. And that's your soulmate. So love is coming in. But you have to trust your intuition is what I'm seeing here. Trusting your intuition. There's a, there's a song that will give you a sign, you guys, that love is finding this way. It's going to be a song that's going to put you in a very peaceful place. See, I'm going for the sixth deck, right? Um, it's the inner knowing. You'll know. Love is coming in. But the angels of wisdom is saying that you have to trust your intuition here when this love comes around, okay? Let me give you an angel number here. Now, this angel number um, that I'm giving you guys, whenever you see this number, then you know for sure that you're definitely on the right path here, okay? And all of a sudden, as soon as I said angel number, the sunlight just came right through. Look at that, you guys. As soon as I said that, the light came through. All right, let's get you the, this number right now while this light is still sitting here. This one this one came through first all right so the number for your sign is a 12 12 12 12 okay um i'm focused the angels of wisdom saying that you need to be fo focused and not only focus but trust your intuition or right, put that in the reverse the angels of wisdom is saying that you need to trust your intuition and stay focused however you want to place it stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality it does not get any better than that okay so this is your number 12 12 okay i would recommend that you write this number down on white paper or parchment paper and place it under your pillow while you sleep every single night okay this is your sign 12 12 now this is going to be your read my darlings this is for my singles and my singles i hope that this one did resonate with you please do not hesitate to like to share um and to subscribe to the channel again if you have not done so already um we have one big happy family here thumbs up the reads my darling because this is how you support your reader which is me <laughs> and this is how you support your channel okay i love you guys so 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 much you guys are so damn freaking amazing. I'll talk to you later. Until then, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.